Channel 3, early warning weather. All right, despite our cool start, the unseasonably cool start this morning with temperatures down into the 40s and low 50s inland, we're already warmer than where we were at this point yesterday by five to six degrees, especially across inland Connecticut, but even along the shoreline, New Haven, Groton, four to six degrees, also milder than this time yesterday. Here's a look at the actual number, 75 New Haven, 76 uh, in Hartford, 69 for Groton, low 70s in the Northwest Hills. So this is basically where we saw temperatures peak yesterday. They'll continue to progress in the upper direction, perhaps reaching even exceeding 80 away from Long Island Sound. Coastal communities will be a little bit cooler thanks to this onshore wind out of the southeast at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Dew point values still very comfortable on the low side in the 40s and low 50s all across the state. That is going to soon change in a dramatic fashion. So while we're kind of flatlining here, uh, we'll go from ple pleasant to muggy by early tomorrow morning and then flirt with the oppressive humid lo humidity levels as we head through the weekend and even beyond. Uh, and in addition to that, temperatures will be trending even warmer as we head through the weekend and into early next week. So our view from New Haven showing basically cloud free conditions, just a few puffy fair weather clouds looking live from Waterbury, more of the same from Torrington. So wherever your afternoon plans may take you, you'll need the sunglasses. Enjoy the low humidity because by this time tomorrow it is coming back with a vengeance. If you're heading to Dunkin Donuts Park this evening, temperatures at first pitch as uh, the yard goats um, have that first pitch at 705, 72 by the end of the game, dropping about 10 degrees. So region wide we are quiet for now, but there's a disturbance to our south that's going to head in our general direction. So that's going to bring clouds, some humidity and as well the chance for some showers tonight into early tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we're dry across the state. Ample sunshine as we head towards sunset. Clouds begin to increase a bit. So as those clouds are moving in, uh, they will initially be dry after midnight and toward daybreak tomorrow. There's the chance for some spotty showers across Connecticut and then by tomorrow afternoon we should see some partial clearing. So uh, if you're perhaps heading to the TPC. River Highlands and Cromwell. Another cool start. Not as cool as this morning, though. Upper 50s at 7 a.m. and by the afternoon, similar to today, but noticeably muggier. Morning clouds give way to some afternoon clearing. And here's a look at Futurecast dew point values. Tomorrow morning, we're going from the 50s into the 60s. And by tomorrow evening, 60 to 65. But watch what happens by Saturday, getting to those oppressive levels as the dew point values get close to the 70 degree mark. And again, once that humidity arrives, it's going to be lasting for a while. So Saturday afternoon. There's a slight chance for an isolated shower or storm to pop up in the warm and humid air mass. I think Sunday will be able to squeak out a dry day, a couple degrees warmer than Saturday, then close to 90 Monday into Tuesday of next week. Monday also a chance for an isolated storm. I think we'll see better chances for rain and storms Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. For shoreline highs this weekend, 81 Saturday, 84 for Sunday.